Welcome back to the new Phasmophobia update and today we're going to go over all the changes they made to photographs that actually are quite significant. If you've seen my photograph guide uh, from way back when, uh, we have to change a lot of that with a lot of new information here. So if you enjoy this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and also follow me on Twitch where I stream live six days a week. If you're a new player, I built this entire channel just for you. I've got a whole list of beginner's guides that will teach you how to play the game in the most simple way possible, and I'll keep updating these guides as uh, time goes forward and new information comes to light. Also, we have an amazing Discord of Phasmophobia players, like 2,000 people in there. Great place to learn how to play or to make friends to play with, so let's get this video started. Links for everything are in the uh, description of the video. Here we go. Okay, so the first thing you're going to notice is uh, this new board here with our photos displayed on it. I just played a match testing out some... Uh, fingerprint photos and uh because that has changed a little bit but first things first so the old photo system was a point based system so we had to get 500 points worth of photos uh to get the max photo rating that went to the money multiplier at the end uh different things you took pictures of had different point values like a fingerprint was like 50 points you could get 10 fingerprint photos and if you had all objectives and picked up the bone and all that you would get a completely perfect game well a lot of that has changed um the first thing ha that has changed here is there's now new things we can get photographs of. My favorite being dots. If you catch the ghost in the act of jetting through that dots projector, it'll actually be labeled as a dots ghost photo. Um, I think it's undervalued at this point. Maybe they'll change that. We'll see. But um, th that's one of the things. It's actually really challenging and potentially dangerous, and I'll explain more of that later. Uh, the next thing that's going to be new is a used crucifix. So when that crucifix gets uh, used once or twice, you can get a photo of it. And that can be potentially dangerous, because obviously if the crucifix is getting used, then uh, the ghost is trying to kill you. So, uh, that's new, that's exciting. Another thing is the salt pile, when the ghost has stepped in it. Not, this is different than like the footprints, so you see the green footprints after the ghost has stepped in the salt and then it decides to walk. This is just the act of stepping in the salt will get you a monetized photo. Also, ghost writing will now display as ghost writing instead of interaction. So, that is that. Now, let's bring this over here. Let's bring this over here. I would love to show you some of these changes. Okay. Now, the photo point system has been removed. That's what we were just talking about. Instead, players will receive a set amount of money and XP per photo they take. This also allowed us to even out the rewards for photos, so uh, getting a certain ghost type at Wraith won't become a feels-bad moment for what photos you can take. Also, any non-fingerprint ghosts, because fingerprints used to be more valuable, and a Wraith couldn't give you those easy footprints that were more valuable than, say, um, just as valuable as like an interaction. And they're a lot easier to get because you can have the ghost step in the salt and spam them. Now, you can still do that. Um, but if you get a wraith, uh, you can get a bunch of photos in, in other ways as well. So, that are just as valuable. Uh, for $5, we're just going to go run down for, like, uh, the, the lower tier ones. For $5 for a 3-star, it's going to be $2 for a 2-star, $1 for a 1-star. $5 per 3-star. It'll be dead body, interaction, fingerprints, footsteps, cursed possessions... That, that's a interesting change salt pile stepped in dots ghost and writing I think um, The dots ghost should be in the next tier higher because me trying to get it yesterday it can be potentially dangerous because you're hanging out for a while Just waiting and potentially getting hunted and you have to be really quick with it You have to have a pretty good reaction time to get that dots ghost photo and you might potentially get some empty photos in the, in the uh, process So those are the lower tier of photos. Those are kind of the fillers now the ten dollar three star photos Which would be five dollars for two star and two dollars for one star the used crucifixes uh, dirty water and the bone. So, uh, dirty water is pretty rare these days, um, for sure. The bone, you obviously get get one per match. The used crucifixes, um, I'm not sure if you can get two per crucifix. That's what it sounded like. That's what it sounded like up here. So, it says used crucifix, one or two uses. So, if you get it at one use, I'm assuming you can take another picture at two uses. Uh, that might be four photos per crucifix. We'll be testing this more, um, in the future once we actually get in here and, and uh, take a hard look at that. Also, uh, $20 for a 3-star ghost photo, $10 for 2-star, $5 for 1-star. So obviously the ghost photo is going to be number one in this hierarchy. Now, the photo priority system. This is also pretty interesting here because in the past, um, you might have a situation where you're taking a picture of like a footprint or something and it renders as a fingerprint photo from the background because the fingerprint was potentially more valuable. But that's not how this works anymore for the most part. 
So items are scored by distance and how close they are to the middle of the photo. So if you're trying to take a photo of something and you center it and you're close to it, you will get a picture of that thing. The top scoring item will give rewards, okay? Ghost will always take priority over other items. So if you're trying to take a fingerprint photo or an interaction photo on a closet door and in the background in the kitchen on Tanglewood the ghost appears uh, and you don't have a ghost photo yet, that's going to count as a ghost photo. The reliability of the system has been improved, always good. Um, also, this means you will always get interaction photos before fingerprint photos. So I did actually, in this match, have a fingerprints ghost. Now check this out. I never once, even though I had to touch on a lot of doors and stuff, I never once had, um, so we have interaction here on the door. Fingerprints, interaction, interaction, interaction. Fingerprints. Now every time I touched the door, um, it was, it was, there's fingerprints on it, so. Um, what it looks like is the first picture's interaction, and the second one will be fingerprints. I'm not sure if this is correlated to actually using the UV light or not. I think that what you miss out on here is going to be, um, it says right here. Get those UV lights back out. I think that what you're potentially missing out on is if, uh, you snap the second picture in hope, in hopes that it's a fingerprint ghost. That one might be empty. But we'll do more testing with that down the line for sure. So, there. There you have it. That is the changes for the photo system and as I learn more about all this I will certainly update you in videos but I think that's a more simple more interesting system but gone are the days for example I would have advised in the past that uh, when you're taking photos if you have a dead body you would want to go ahead and try to get footstep pictures instead because they were they were a higher point value in that system and fingerprints uh, took precedent over both of those because they were a higher point value in that system and cursed possessions would have been one of the top three most valuable photos you can get. Now that's just a regular thing because if you think about it, most people know where they're located now. It's kind of an easy photo, so it's just a pedestrian $5 three star. So uh, this is going to be an interesting added use for crucifixes and staying in the, uh, the match late game in dangerous situations to make it more interesting and more money driven. As well as giving the dirty water some added value and uh, obviously finding that bone. So there you go. Also, collecting the bone is scaled on the larger map, so 10, 20, 30 for small, medium, and large maps, which is also a good addition. So many great changes in this update. Uh, let me know if I missed anything, if there's any questions, you have anything for me to test. Thank you for watching, as always, and see you in the next video. Happy ghost hunting.